at this time, we will start the in cab inspection. There is no debris on the floor. My seat belt properly connect, not cut afraid. I will start my truck. I make sure the ABS light comes on and go off if it stays on. That means I have an ABS problem. I will continue to perform a safe start and I will let the air build to 125 PSI. I will hear the air exhaust from the air dryer. From here, I will go over my safety equipment. My spare fuses is present. My three red triangles is present. My fire extinguisher is present, not been a broken. It's either ABC or BC. It's filled to the proper level, not expired, and the pin is in place. My driver's side window and my passenger side window is properly mounted, not cracked or broken. It's clean and they are operational. My driver's side and my passenger mirror is properly mounted, not cracked or broken, it's clean, and it is adjusted to my view. My windshield, properly mounted, not cracked or broken, is clean, no illegal stickers, no obstructions. My windshield wiper blades is properly mounted, not been or broken. They are flush to my windshield and they are operational as well. And you have to do it until the water comes out. From here, I will go to my shifter and my selector. They both are operational and they are not sticking. I will go to my accelerator, my brake, and my clutch. They are not sticking and the rubber pads are on them. I will come up to the steering wheel. It's properly mounted has no more than 10 degrees of play. I will operate my city horn, operate my country horn, then I will go into the dash, my left turn sitting to work, right turn sitting to work, four-way flashers work, turn on my lights, low beam, there's no indicator, but it works, and the high beam indicator works. Also, the clearance lights, they also work when you turn on the park lights. My oil gauge properly working, water gauge properly working. My RPMs and my MPH gauge are properly working. My fuel gauge is working. My air gauge, which is my primary air gauge and my secondary air gauge work. Also, the battery is between 12 and 14 RPMs, even though this is 14.1. From there, I will come over to my heat and defrost, make sure the fan is on, I make sure the heat is on, and I make sure the defrost is on. I will put my hand over the defrost and the heat to make sure it's blowing out properly and to make sure it's blowing heat. At this time, I will perform my lab test. That stands for leaks, alarms, and buttons. So I will put my shifter in First gear, which is low gear. Mm, it's in low gear. I will turn my key off. And then I will turn my key to the on position without turning on the truck. I just need power for my dash. And the most important part of this, I will push in both my tractor and my trailer brakes. All right, at this point, I will hold the brake for one minute to make sure I do not lose no more than four PSI in the combination vehicle. And we did not lose more than four PSI. At this point, I will pump the brakes until the air gets between 40 and 60 PSI. At that point, the alarm and the alarm buzzer will come on the dash and you will hear the noise. All 
all right as you see it popped on so i will continue to pump the brakes until the air gets between 20 and 40 psi and both of these buttons will pop out ah you heard both of them pop out so at this time i just completed my labs test i will perform another safe start I have to put it back in neutral the air will build to 125 PSI. The air dryer will release. As you just heard, the air release from the air dryer and you saw the gauges was at 125 PSI. From there, I will do my tug test. I will put my foot on the clutch, my foot on the brake. I will put my shifter in first gear and I will push in my tractor brakes to check my trailer brakes. At this point, I will take my foot off the brake and I will release the clutch just a little bit, just until you feel it pull and it didn't move or push it back in, put my foot back on the brake. Now I will pull out my tractor brakes and push in my trailer brakes to check my tractor brakes. I would do the same thing, come off the brake, come off the clutch, just to make sure it doesn't move, it didn't move. At this time, I will push in both my valves. So I'll push in my tractor brake, my trailer brake. I will pull forward five to 10 feet. I will hit the clutch and the brake firmly to make sure I'm not pulling to the left or right and I hear no grinding noise. Right. It didn't pull to the left or right, and I did not hear no grinding noise. At this point, I will put it in neutral with my foot still on the braking clutch. I will pull out both the valves. I will turn off the key, and I'll look at the instructor, and they will tell me if I passed or fail, and we all know I passed. <laughs>